If you're anything like me, you struggle in the area of having 100% belief in yourself in terms of trying to get things accomplished and moving forward to bigger and better things in your life. Well, today on the Rich Mind Podcast, we're going to talk about, and I'm going to give you a, a walkthrough exercise, something that you can do right now, starting today, that's going to help you bridge the gap from this doubt, worry, and fear to a more life of abundance. And we're going to do that by instilling more belief in yourself. So stay tuned. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. All right, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, let's talk about the subject of belief. If you're watching this on video, you can see that I've got up on my shelf here. I've got the word believe uh, right here up on my shelf. And it's uh, it's a reminder for myself that I have to continuously believe in myself, believe in my abilities, believe in uh, moving forward, uh, believe in hitting record and recording the Rich Mind podcast. That's all of the things that we all deal with on a daily basis, all that self-limiting doubts. Uh, we talked about a lot of uh, times on the podcast about self-sabotage. I deal with it just as much as anybody. And so I've had to come up with different ways to instill belief in myself so that way I can continue to move forward in the face of uncertainty, in the face of doubt, and to achieve a greater, more abundant life that I want for myself and for my family. And that's what I want for you uh, moving forward today as well. So this conversation today that I'm having with you, it stemmed from a conversation I actually had with my wife over the weekend. And we were just having a basic normal conversation and the topic of belief came into play. We're trying to achieve greater things in our life. So for us, we're trying to figure out this life of being an entrepreneur as well as you know parents, grandparents now, just life in general. And so with that, we're trying to expand our businesses. And one thing that we struggle with, and when I say we, I mean my wife and I, is that belief that we can continue to move forward in the face of not knowing exactly what the outcome is going to be. So if you make the decision that you're going to step out into this entrepreneurial world, it's going to require a completely different set of a mindset, right? You're going to be able to have to work within yourself. It's going to be probably the biggest personal development exercise that you've ever done, which is exciting because of the person you're going to become in the process. But it's also super Scary is probably not the right word. It's probably a little bit too intense, but it's definitely, uh, it's uncomfortable. Let's put it that way. It's definitely uncomfortable. At least it has been for myself. And I would say that it has been for my wife as well. So as we keep pushing ourselves into areas of life that we're not sure what the outcomes are, it keeps generating disbelief, right? We don't believe in our abilities to continue to move forward. We don't believe in the ideas are going to be any good, right? So it's like, just like with this uh, podcast, right? I have an idea for a, an episode. I don't know if it's going to resonate with you or not. I don't know if it's going to be a good episode, a bad episode. I don't know. But what I have to do is I have to have the belief that whatever comes to my mind in that moment is going to be exactly what I need to share and exactly what you need to listen to and what you need to hear, depending on where you're listening to me from, uh, depending on what's going on in your life. I just want to try to instill the idea that we are all suffering from the same types of things and it's how we go about uh, attacking them is going to be the difference between whether we achieve the results that we're looking for and the results that we're not. A lot of times I feel like we, and I, and I put myself in this category as well, up until, you know, just a lot of work on myself, we put our validation of ourself on what's going on in our outside environment. As you know, with the Rich Mind podcast, I say all the time that it, it's a battle from within. You're going to continuously have that battle. Those voices, those doubts, those fears are coming from inside of you. So if you're continuously looking for validation outside of you from other people, from other places, you know, things you see, things you hear, you're going to continuously be searching for something that is, it's not going to necessarily be the, the solid thing that you need on a continuous basis. And if you continue to do that and keep staying in that pattern, my fear is that you're going to not necessarily achieve the goals and dreams that you are looking for. So it all starts with the belief inside of you. 
So let me share with you a few of the things. These are, are questions that I ask myself. You've heard me say multiple times on this podcast, and it's really, it's whatever's best preference for yourself, but journaling, getting your ideas out onto a piece of paper, getting them out of your mind. It's almost like a separation exercise, meaning you, you're having the thoughts, you're having the thoughts and beliefs in your own mind, the, the chatter that's going on. It's almost like taking that by the hand, right? You're grabbing it in your own mind and you're going to put it outside of you onto a piece of paper that you can actually see. You can go back and you can reread uh, a lot of your, your entries, right? A lot of the questions that you're questioning yourself at the time uh, for myself that when I'm doing that exercise. So I, I've gotten into the practice of journaling literally every day. I put a journal entry, uh, one sheet, a one little page entry every single day. And what I will do then is I will go back and I will read some of my past entries and kind of see where I was in that moment, where, I mean, I can remember kind of the things that were going on in my life at that moment. And it can be completely a, a belief issue, right? I can be suffering some self-sabotage. I can be suffering some doubt, some fear, all of those normal things that we're all suffering from. And when I do that, I'm able to do, go back in my journal. I date the journal, right? So I, I put the specific date that I, I put the entry on and I can kind of see where I was at in that moment. Right. And that almost gives me like a timestamp of figuring out who have I become in the moment through those through that process to realize and give myself more belief. It also allows me to answer the questions that I'm going to give you here in just a few moments. This will be the exercise that I would like for you to go through to help you in terms of you're suffering from uh, self-sabotage. If you're suffering from self-doubt, if you're just not sure where to begin and get started that's what I want to share with you today. These are the questions that I ask myself. And these are self prompts, meaning they they're you can just ask yourself. And if journaling isn't your thing, I would recommend somehow, some way you can you can record your voice on your phone uh, somehow get these questions. So once you ask these questions of yourself, you're going to start getting answers. And when you get those answers, get them out, put them in some form outside of you. So you can refer back to them because the doubt and worry fear you're suffering from today, it's going to subside. It's going to go away, especially if you keep moving forward. And so then you'll want to refer back to, and that's going to help you in the future. That's how it's been for me. So let's dive into the exercise. Uh, these are going to be some questions that I want you to think about. Uh, these are questions that I ask myself continuously. And I think that if you get in the habit of doing this for yourself, you can get yourself out of that negative spiral of the doubt and worry of fear a lot faster. And that's what I really want for you today. So the first question, is this true? Is this feeling, is this thought, is this idea that I have that I'm not enough, that I can't achieve whatever your goal is, is that true? And sit with that for just a moment. That question alone might take you some time. You might need to ponder that one for a little while. The answer I hope you come up with is that no, they are not true but you need to feel that from within yourself. You need to understand and basically have dialogue with your own internal presence, right? Your, your internal self, uh, your subconscious, right? Your subconscious mind and just get it to understand that, yes, I understand you're trying to keep me from moving forward. You're trying to keep me quote unquote safe, but I don't need that safety. I am safe. I am able, I do believe, those are the feelings that you're going to come up with as you understand and feel like when you realize that, no, this is not true. I can achieve whatever it is. An example with the podcast, I can continue on with the podcast. I can continue to show up and add as much value to you, the listener, as I possibly can. I can, I can, I can. And when you start feeling that way, right, when you start repeating that to yourself that I can and then I am able you're going to start feeling a different energy within yourself. And that is going to be the beginning process for you to break free from this doubt, worry, and fear. So the second question that I want you to think about is what am I truly afraid of? So when these doubts, worries, and fears pop into your mind, there's a reason that they're there. They're trying to keep you safe from something. So we all have our own past stories. We all have our own past experiences in this 3D world that we call our life. They can be from family members. They can be from friends. They can be from your current experiences with your family now. Uh, it can be really, it can be a work environment. It can really be anything. We all have separate experiences. And when we get scarred in our subconscious mind, 
when we have negative things or perceived negative things happen to us in our past, it shows up to try to keep you quote unquote safe by throwing you into doubt, worry, and fear. And it's trying to keep you from moving forward into a, a unknown future that in reality, the future potentially has the ability to be better than you can ever imagine. So that's the, the next question I really want you to ask yourself is what are you truly afraid of? If you can really dig back deep into the stories of your past. So for myself, for example, let me give you, uh, maybe this will help a little bit. I suffered with the story of my mind for the longest time of being disappointed. I kept myself away from opportunities. I kept myself away from other individuals. I kept myself away from a lot of things, business opportunities, you name it. I, I kept myself away from it. And the, it stemmed from, I had a deep self doubt, negative belief in my mind that if I stepped into a situation with other people in a, a different environment, I was going to be disappointed. And that came from, from actually it came from my father. I mean, that's where it really stemmed back to. There were multiple times that my father, unfortunately, would make promises to me that we were going to uh, do X, Y, Z. So one of the stories, just to give you a little bit more context, is that we're, I'm a car guy. I love muscle cars. I love cars in general. And my dad used to always tinker with cars all the time growing up. And what I mean by that is he would buy an old car. He would work on it. He would actually paint it and fix it and just make it look really nice, right? That's what he, that's almost like a summer project he would have every year. And when he did that, I can remember as I was becoming and getting closer to being 16 years old, he would make promises to me of what he was going to build for me. Like he painted this vision in my mind that he was going to build this car or we were going to build this car or we were, I was going to have this certain thing. And I'll never forget, I was so worked up and excited one time because he was describing this car that I was going to be able to have and get when I was, as I was turning 16. And he basically shot me down. He said, son, I don't know where you're getting all these ideas and all these beliefs that this is going to happen, but that's not necessarily the truth. I don't really intend to do those things for you. And I was devastated to the point where it led into a false disbelief in my own self that I felt like as I kept putting myself out there, as I kept getting emotionally engaged with certain people, with certain situations, I was going to be disappointed by the result because I felt like that person wasn't going to be able to come through for me. So I put up a shield, I put up a, a barrier around me that was tough. I've been working on taking that barrier down bit by bit, piece by piece, like continuously for several years now. And I still don't hundred percent have it down but I'm working on it every single day. So that's a little bit of a story for myself is that what is it that you're truly afraid of? For me, it was, I was, I'm always, and have always been afraid of being disappointed, which has kept me from believing in myself to continuously move forward. So what is it for you? What is it that you're truly afraid of? And then write it down, get it out of your head and write it down. The third question that I want you to think about today, I really want you to ponder this one as well, is that, how would I feel if I were 100% confident in myself, in my abilities to achieve whatever goal I wanted to achieve? So how would you feel? Think about that. Now, that question is probably going to spark off and, and send you down a different rabbit trail of some different doubts and some different worries and fears, right? The mind is going to start racing with different, you can't do this and you can't do that. And why would you think that somebody would listen to you here and do this there? That's what I want you to take control of. So when that voice, that little voice creeps up into your mind, you need to grab it. You need to get a hold of it. And that's where this exercise of literally grabbing it out of your own mind and putting it out on paper will make it real. Will make it where it's like, literally, it makes it feel like it's real. And so then you can take control of it and then you can question it. Is that true? Is that real? And as you continue to go down that process, you will begin to feel a little bit better. And then as you ask yourself it again in the future, so what's going to happen is you're going to go through this exercise many times in the upcoming days, weeks, months. And so as you do it more often, as you ask yourself, how would I feel if I were 100% confident in my abilities? When you do that further on down the road, you're going to start being able to have those feelings of confidence. You're going to be able to stand up tall, shoulders back, speak 
clearly just speak with confidence. And as you continue to build that confidence, you're going to be able to keep moving forward better and better and quicker and quicker, which is super exciting. So ask that question of yourself. Well, how would I feel if I were 100% confident in your abilities moving forward? And then, then express it. How would you feel? And then write it down. So let's move on to the final question that I want you to think about today. So that question is, what would I do right now? What one thing would I do right now if I was 100% confident in my abilities, belief in myself, if I was super confident and I knew for sure that whatever outcome was out there to be had was positive or negative. So it's just feedback, right? There's not good. There's not bad. There's just feedback for you to be able to make a different decision. What is one thing you would do right now if you were 100% confident in your abilities moving forward? So once again, with this podcast or even a podcast, let's say you have an idea, something you want to share with the world. And you know for a fact, deep down inside, that you want to move forward and start creating some content and distributing it out into the world. But that doubt creeps in. Maybe it's a question of, I don't know if when I get down to episode 10, 15, 20, what am I going to say? Who am I going to talk to? Who's even going to listen? Maybe those are the questions that are popping up in your mind. And if they are, write them down and then think about it for a little while. Maybe you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, I don't want to get on camera or I don't necessarily want, I, you know, I don't have the equipment. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know about the artwork that I wanted to produce. Who's even going to listen to me? So those are the questions that are going to pop up as you continue to question yourself to move forward. Those doubts, those worries, and those fears. But what would you do? What would one thing, the single thing today, what one thing you would do that if you were 100% confident, in the outcome, would you do today? So for example, with a podcast, it's writing down some of the topics that you would discuss. I don't care if you come out with three episodes a week, five episodes a week. I don't care if you come out with one episode a month. It doesn't matter. That's the point. It doesn't matter. It's yours. The podcast, and that's what I'm using as an example for this, uh, this question or this part of the, uh, the episode, is that it's yours. You get to decide. It's your decision. You can pivot. You can do more episodes. You can do less episodes. You can change the date that you do the episodes. You can do interviews. You can do solo episodes. You can do anything you want. So the point is, is that the whole question of the doubt of what am I going to do when I get to number 10 and I don't have anything else to say, or what happens if I don't find the artwork or find somebody to help me with the artwork uh, to create the little thumbnail for the podcast. Or what happens if I don't have the right equipment or what it sounds like? The what ifs, the what ifs will start kicking in. The what ifs negative are going to keep you from moving forward. But what I want to do today with this last question is what if it, what if it was true? What if I, I could do this? What would that be like? How would I feel? And then step into it. One thing, what is one thing you could do today? And that one thing, as I mentioned, it could be just grabbing out a piece of paper and jotting down some of the things that come to your mind as far as the topic you want to share. Write down just keywords. They don't have to be complete sentences. They don't even have to be phrases. No one's going to see it but you. But write it down. Get it out of your mind. Get it out of your head and start taking action. That's one step. And as you build that out, you'll be able to see, okay, I feel confident with that. Now ask yourself that question again. If I was 100% confident, What's well, one thing I would do right now to move myself forward towards this goal that I have for myself? And then don't procrastinate. Don't let the distractions of life get in the way. Get busy and do it. And if you get in the habit, if you get in the habit of doing those things, that's when you're going to see bigger, better, brighter things in your future. And it's going to come super fast. It has for me and it has for others that I've shared this information with. And I'm confident that it will for you as well. So folks, I hope you found this message valuable. I appreciate you being here. If you're listening to me, uh, at least definitely at this point of the podcast, I just, I truly appreciate you being here. Hopefully you're finding the information uh, valuable. I'm trying to share real life experiences that I've had, different stories to help you understand that we are all similar. We might have different backgrounds. We might come, might come from different places, different family environments, different school environments, different, you name it. But at the same time, we're all humans and we all want to become more, 
right? That's the whole idea. We want to become more. And I believe that if you work on your internal dialogue, your internal battle, more so than worrying about the external things in your life, you're going to be able to see greater things in that external environment at a much more rapid pace. That's been my experience, and that's what I want for you as well. So as I mentioned, I appreciate you being here. If you listen so far into this episode or even at the other episodes that I have out there, I really love doing this, and I appreciate you being along with me in this journey as we continue on trying to become more and be better for our family, for our friends, and for our communities. So go out there, focus on being great, focus on these questions, sit with them for a while, journal about them, or whatever is your best mode of getting this information out of your mind and out into the world as far as figuring out, uh, getting your thoughts out of your own head. Do what's best for you, but I promise you, if you do the work, you're going to see better results moving forward. So have a fantastic day. I look forward to coming back to you again with the next episode very soon. Until then, bye now.